Welcome back to another Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. Now these tricks I'm showing you will work in Photoshop Elements 6 or 7. So if you have a Mac, you're not left out because I know you're still in version 6. First, let's take a quick look once again at jackstechcorner.com. That's the website you go to to pick up the exciting DVDs. And why do I say they're exciting? Well, there's some videos on these DVDs that's never seen before on YouTube. I put them just on the DVDs. That way when you purchase it, it's a little bit of value add for you. Just jump over to jackstechcorner.com and you just scroll down through here and pick out what you like. There's Volume 1, Volume 2, the Mac Edition for all you Mac folks out there. This also includes some iPhoto 09. And then there's a Volume 1 and 2 set. And I've had a few people email me already. If you'd like to purchase all three of them, um, just email me and I'll tell you how to go about picking up the Mac Edition on top of these two um, for an extra $10. So it's, it's a pretty good value add deal there. It's a, um, I just want to make sure you're getting all the information you need. If, for instance, if you don't want to pick up the DVDs and you want to help out the show, by all means, just scroll over here on the left and click on Donate and uh, Donate to the show. It definitely helps out to keep the websites going, keeps the equipment new in the studio that I need to record these, and make sure I can keep uh, up to date with the software. So that's very important. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is I just received an email, and I thought it was pretty interesting, so I thought, you know, I'm going to wrap a video around this. And the email is talking about speech bubbles. Now, if you've never seen a speech bubble before, basically all that is is uh, like a comic strip. You know, a little thought above somebody's head. And uh, this gentleman basically uh, states, um, or, or female, I'm sorry, could be, um, I'm helping with a comic strip, and I have element six. I was wondering, what's the easiest way to make the speech bubbles easy to read? Every time I write in them, it seems to lose some of the info, and the writing is small. How can I fix this? Please help. Well, um, Ellis56, we're going to show you how to do that right now. Let's minimize this out of the way. First, I want to start you off with a new trick that I found, you know, because I also learn. You learn every day, and I say if you quit learning, then you're, you're kind of losing touch with, uh, with your Photoshop altogether. But right here, we have a picture and we usually go up to view fit the screen or you can hold the control in the zero key and make it larger or here's a trick just double click on his hand on the hand tool and it makes it full screen so there's another little trick for you I found I thought it was kind of interesting and I thought I would share that with you so let's go back up to the move tool so here's the picture we're gonna work with um, it's actually a girl putting her head into the mouth of a dinosaur. And we want a speech bubble coming out of there saying something um, interesting, something that's going to make this uh, come alive. You can also use this if you're scrapbooking. Works really nice, I found, when I'm creating scrapbooks um, or even books online if you're creating a book and you want to uh, share this with other people. So we are going to call this video Speech Bubbles, just uh, as we're doing. First thing we're going to do is duplicate that background do a control J or on the Mac it would be a command J and I always work with the duplicate with the background layer and I've gotten a lot of emails folks and believe me you can do it without doing this and yes I do that so I don't destroy the original that's why I create the uh, new layer you're exactly right and um, I appreciate all the emails asking that question and I think I've answered everybody through email once we do that we want to go up here and click on the create tab then we'll go into artwork. Now, once we're in artwork, we will go into. Uh, I got to find them again here. I think it's graphics. And remember, I do these live, so um, I don't rehearse these videos. And I've received a couple emails saying, "Jack, why don't you uh, rehearse your videos or script it?" Well, you know what? Then it sounds like it's scripted. I don't sound like a human anymore to you. I sound like a like a robot or something uh, scripting these out. This is a pure, you know, off-the-cuff teaching. I just want to show you and, and get the point across, and hopefully you're catching on to these videos. So if we're under graphics and we scroll down, we'll see here we have some different kind of speech bubbles. I usually like the cloud one just because it looks interesting. 
So we click on that, and we can just bring it over here, and we can drop it right on our picture. And there we go. And then we're going to pull this out a little bit. And what's nice down here, if you put your mouse on the bottom, you see where you get that double handle at? Or the circle, you can turn it all the way around if you wish. Or just the double handle, you can move it back and forth. And we'll blow it up a little bit more. Let's bring this back around a little bit more, like it's coming out of the girl. You know, the girl's thinking this. And click the checkbox. Now, once we have that, we're going to go back to the editor. All right. Now, so there's our speech bubble right there. It was pretty simple. It's very easy to get that speech bubble on there, and it's in its own layer. So that way we can always click on that layer and move that around wherever we need to do that. So what we're going to do now with that is we are going to actually put in a text box. So we're going to go to text. Make sure we have the horizontal text. And we're going to just draw a text box in there. And then at that point, right here is the part where you want to make sure. I don't know what you were working with with your fonts, but you can change this font size anywhere you want to to make it the correct size. Try to blow that up a little bit. Alright, now if the font doesn't look big enough, we could just simply highlight it all. We can raise it up a little bit. Just like that. And you can then take this font and turn it the same way. You can stretch it out a little bit if you wish. Let's click the checkbox here. Click the move tool. We can pull it up a little bit and make it a little bigger. The trick is to make these readable is to make sure you're filling your box all the way up, your uh, your bubble, just like that. So we are able to pull that around there, just like that. Now, as always, if you want to take your text and you want to add something to it, like a bevel, you know, we can always add bevels to our text, just like that. You can double click the FX, just like we've done in the past. We can raise the bevel up some. All right, we can throw a drop shadow on it. Something like that. We can do an inner glow. We can maybe do an inner glow or an outer glow. The outer glow might even make it look better. These are also tricks right here you can use to make your text more readable. Because you can pull it up off this picture a little bit, pull it up off the screen and actually make it uh, even more readable. You could even throw some uh, stroke color into it. And you can use any kind of stroke color you want. Turn it down just a little bit. There we go. You can drop your opacity if you wish. Just make it visible. That's too much. And there we go. That is how we actually add a speech bubble to our picture. Like I said, this makes it really nice, folks, if you're scrapbooking or anything else that you might want to think about uh, using these or just printing these off like this and putting it in, you know, in a photo album. It looks really, really nice. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, Ellis, I think it was Ellis56, uh, I hope that helps you out. I hope you uh, understand it a little better. I will email you as soon as I post this. Thank you very much for the question. And I have a ton of questions I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to get all these together so I can get these videos uh, out there to you. So, until next time, folks, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. And if you want some great high-resolution videos, stop by jackstechcorner.com. If not, just click on the forums and join in. There's about 150 people registered right now out of the uh, 2,000 or so subscribers we have on YouTube. 
So go to those forms and register. I know you probably have a lot of usernames and passwords, but it's fun to get in there. It's fun to see uh, your new questions, and it's fun to see uh, other people helping out and answering those. So take care. Until next time, I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.